this is uh, Boat Glacier Falls. 150 meters, 410 feet drop, and it is situated in this large bowl. I'll just give you a nice view here. In this really large bowl, we're just surrounded by rock and steep cliffs on either side. The elevation gain to get up here was quite a bit, actually. Uh, you'll see once I uh, show you some video down at the bottom of the on the riverbed floor. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna head over to the uh, right up to the falls now and uh, get some photos. So here we are at the bottom of Bow Glacier Falls, and again another incredible sight. You see, there's a fairly large section of it and a few tiers of it. Uh, there's a smaller one off to the side, but uh, a great sound and definitely a great sight. boots to the test and go in the water a bit here. And that's the, the height of the, the canyon. If we go up to the top and then back down uh, to the top of this where this actually flows from the glacier up above and look at that water, it's just crystal clear. And I did see my first Martin today which is a, uh, a relative of the weasel family and which uh, Noom Tija, uh, named for the lodge up here, is actually uh, the Stony Plain uh, native word for uh, for the marten. So that was really cool to, to finally see one. I'd never seen one before. So it was, uh, it was nice to finally get photos of one and see one. Now that's uh, that's another first for me while I'm out here. All right, well, I'm gonna head back to the car. Um, so you can see the uh, the trail heads that way, and then down the lake, down the side of the lake. And it's absolutely beautiful out here. I just the, the weather it warmed up at six o'clock this morning when I left Calgary. It was, uh, that would be mountain uh, daylight time, by the way. It was uh, quite cool. And uh, when I started out the hike, I had my fleece on, but at the top, at the bottom of the falls, it was beautiful. And the sun's uh, been out for a while. It's higher in the sky now, so it's really warm. Nice and warm today. So we'll probably reach mid 20s, low 20s uh, Celsius. And, uh, it's a nice summer day for us uh, Albertans.
So there are the, uh, the stairs that you have to climb up. And obviously right over the top of that ridge is where you go to see the waterfall. Now, I'm going to show you something that uh, I saw on a website last night. And apparently that looks like Abe Lincoln. Which, yeah, it doesn't look too bad actually. It's pretty cool. And there's the view. You can see the trail heading off into the distance there. That goes down over there. Then over that ridge is, uh, is where the lake is. And Numtija Lodge is located there. So this is uh, another whole area um, that you get to before going up you know, to the uh, the upper bowl where the falls is. And there's another falls there, and it's a lot of snow still um, on the caps of the mountains here. So there's still uh, a fair bit of runoff happening. So that my my faithful watchers, viewers, that was uh, Numtija Lodge and Bow Glacier Falls. This is the photo of uh, two of the three elk on uh, the Bow Valley Parkway, which is Highway 1A between Banff and Lake Louise. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful highway to drive if you're ever heading out between Banff uh, all the way out to Lake Louise. Definitely go down this uh, this highway. It's a two-lane, uh, 60 kilometer an hour uh, highway all the way, but absolutely fantastic and uh, great wildlife uh, scenery as well. With a single lens reflex camera, an SLR, you have a lot of uh, manual adjustments and a lot of adjustments that a, a point and shoot, actually the, more of the new, newer point and shoots can actually do this, but they're a lot, uh, a lot more difficult. Uh, as you can see from this photo, the background's blurred out and to get this effect where the focus is on the subject, which in this case is the Martin, the way to do this is by using the lowest f-stop number that uh, you are allowed, and that is depending on the lens that you're using. Uh, in this, for instance, in this uh, case, uh, my 500 mil lens was uh, using an f-stop of f6.3, which is the lowest f-stop possible by that lens that I have. And that is how you get the, uh, the background blurred out on photos. This photo here of Namtija Lodge, as you can see, the sign is in focus, the lodge itself is in focus, and the mountain, which is quite a distance away from the uh, sign, is also in focus. Now, to obtain this, such as any landscape photo, where everything is in focus from the front of the photo all the way to the back, you want to use an f-stop of uh, anywhere from f11, f10, or um, even higher, depending on the amount of light you have, depending on the type and quality of lens that you have, you should be able to shoot up to even a, an F19, F18, uh, even as high as an F22, and still be able to handhold that shot. Uh, if the light is a little lower and you want to still shoot an F22 um, and not handhold it, then you can use a tripod as well.